Hi, I'm Ashwin. In this video, we will look at the another aggressive chess opening that is Lolly Attack, uh, which is a better version of Red Lever Attack. As with Lolly Attack, we first prepare a Knight Sacrifice on F7 by playing a D4 and even sometimes a Castle. In order to explain the same, I will show you an amazing chess game of Bobby Fischer against T. Rouse, which was played in 1964. Uh, Fischer with the white pieces started the game with E4, E5. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, knight f6. Uh, this is a two knights defense. But this knight f6 move actually allows white to play this knight g5, an aggressive move which attacks the f7 pawn. And if you are watching uh, this first time, then let me know you that black can avoid this all together with a three bishop to c5 in this position. But then you have to ready for Ivan's gambit, and that is a b4. Okay, so anyways, after bishop c4, knight f6, and knight g5. And now black can defend this f7 by playing a d5, just breaking the connection between this bishop and the f7 pawn. So e captures on d5, and now knight captures on d5 is just a mistake. Here the main move is knight a5 and the trickier one knight d4. But in this game, actually Bobby's opponent played knight captures on d5. And now knight captures on f7 is a fried liver attack but we have already discussed the same in my previous videos so anybody would like to see that video I have provided the link in the description but today we'll see the lolly attack and that is d4 and this is considered to be much better version of fried liver attack as white prepare himself before lashing out for this knight captures on f7. And now black has few alternatives like knight captures on d4, e captures on d4 and bishop to e6 and we will look at each one by one. Uh, first knight captures on d4 but now c3 and black is having difficulty in defending his uh, both of knights. So knight captures on d4 is not a question here. Say e captures on d4 which was played in the game so definitely we will analyze the same uh, during the game. And here bishop e6 is a relatively a best option for the black to continue the game where white can just go for uh, castle and say now knight captures on d4 but then we can go for knight captures on e6 and black has to capture with his uh, f pawn knight captures on e6 uh, leads to just queen captures on d5 or bishop captures on d5 and white is winning a piece so f captures on e6 where white can simply piling up against these uh, two pawns as those are on the open file and can't be supported uh, by the fellow pawns. So here white is having some positional plus. So now let's go back to the game where after d4 that is Lolly's attack uh, black actually captured on d4. Now Pacer just castled here and bishop to e7 was played. In this position bishop to e6 uh, is now bad because of rook e1 and say you are playing uh, a queen d6 but now we can go for knight captures on f7 which is just brutal the point is king captures on f7 and now queen f3 uh, which is uh, similar to um, fried liver attack but now we have extra rook in the attack so say king e7 and then bishop captures on d5 is just winning on next move i can even try and win this uh, uh, this bishop on e6 right so after castle actually black played bishop e7 and there comes knight captures on f7 king captures on f7 now queen f3 and black is already in trouble uh, here black has few options for example uh, bishop f6 but then we can play bishop captures on d5 where bishop e6 bishop captures on e6 king captures on e6 and now material is equal on the board but black's king uh, is just a uh, too weak and anybody will prefer white's position over black's so what else after queen f3 check say you are playing a king e8 but friends then comes bishop captures on d5 and we are threatening uh, queen f7 now so rook f8 queen h5 check where g6 can be made by bishop captures on c6 b captures on c6 first and queen captures on h7 and you can see white is having an extra pawn plus on gang attack so this is definitely winning for white so queen f3 
another possible move is king g6 but this is the worst because bishop to d3 check and now bishop f5 only move queen captures on f5 is just a checkmate so what else black is having after this uh, queen to f3 almost uh, nothing so here black played king e6 uh, defending this knight but there comes rook e1 check knight e5 bishop f4 attacking this uh, knight on e5 and black defended the knight with bishop f6 but there comes the beautiful move knight c3 an amazing sacrifice to bring uh, another rook into the game uh, with a killer effect say you are capturing my knight but then rook captures on e5 bishop captures on e5 and now rook e1 is just crushing the point is you cannot uh, defend this uh, bishop even by sacrificing your queen on f6 the point is queen captures on d5 in that case is just killing so bishop captures on e5 and rook e1 now what black can play say black is playing c captures on b2 and hoping for some miracles but uh, that is not possible in chess here white can just go for rook captures on e5 check king f7 and now bishop captures on d5 check say king f8 but then bishop h6 is just winning the point is uh, queen f6 can be made by just queen captures on f6 the g7 pawn is pinned right so here white is completely winning so after fisher's knight c3 uh, this knight cannot be taken and black played a c6 uh, defending this uh, a knight on d5 there comes rook captures on e5 and king f7 was played in the game in case you are capturing my rook with the bishop but then uh, rook e1 and now this bishop can't be defended and uh, say you are playing queen f6 to uh, just give up your queen but then also we have knight captures on d5 c captures on d5 and queen captures on d5 is just crushing you move the king and i can just uh, take this uh, bishop so here white is winning so rook e1 and what else black can play say pawn takes on c3 but then a simple rook captures on e5 where say king d7 but now white can checkmate black in few moves for instance queen h3 check king c7 rook captures d5 discover check by the bishop say king b6 but then a queen e3 check and a c5 queen captures c5 is just a checkmate so that is the reason after rook takes on e5 in this position black played king f7 here black didn't capture the rook because rook to e1 was just crushing on next move so king f7 but there comes knight captures on d5 and say you are capturing now my knight with the pawn but then bishop captures on d5 is just winning point is a king f8 can be made by rook a to e1 and here black cannot defend because white is having various threats like a uh, bishop to g5 followed by bishop captures f6 and then a uh, rook e8 is just winning and say you are capturing my rook but then bishop captures on e5 and you cannot save the checkmate and say queen f6 but then bishop captures on f6 followed by queen captures on f6 and otherwise say you are moving your king to e7 or a king to e8 in both the cases i can just go through a queen f7 which is checkmate so in our game knight captures on d5 and black didn't capture our knight he played bishop e6 and game is lost anyways here fisher just uh, took that bishop king captures on e6 and now there are various ways to uh, checkmate black's king uh, fisher just captured on f6 uh, but uh, there was an another way and that is a knight c7 discover check by the bishop say king d7 in case of uh, king to e7 white can just go for queen a3 check and say queen uh, sorry pawn c5 then queen captures on c5 queen d6 and now queen captures d6 is just a checkmate so knight c7 and king d7 but that can be made by a queen to just h3 check king e7 and now queen e6 followed by just queen f7 is checkmate but anyways in our game king captures on e6 and fisher just played knight captures on f6 a discover check by the bishop black played king e7 but uh, capturing on knight uh, leads to uh, some beautiful moves for instance rook e1 and now i'm not giving any check but a checkmate can't be prevented here say rook e8 and then bishop c1 uh, nice discover check 
king g6 and now bishop f7 is just a checkmate but in our game knight captures on f6 discover check by the bishop and king e7 was played where rook even check king f8 and queen a3 black resigned the point is the only move uh, that uh, saves the check right now is uh, c5 and then uh, queen to e7 in both cases we can just first play queen captures on c5 and then queen captures on e7 or even you put the queen on d6 so white is checkmating black and just a next two moves so friends how was the video and the game thanks for watching bye bye